Draining all the liquid out of them so they're nice and dry when I hit them with the, on the saute. Look at this. I took out the liquid, but that's how much. They, it just keeps draining out. So you want to drain them for a while. Okay? And I have whole loaves of white bread that we're going to make the bread box out of. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. First off, we're going to julienne the leeks and carrots. Okay, so come on over here and let's get busy with this and I'll show you how we do this. Okay, let me get a little bit of a close up here so you can see that a little bit better. All right, now I got three big carrots peeled and I have my mandolin over here that we're gonna julienne them on. And I have a leek, a nice big leek. Okay, and I'm gonna cut the ends of that off. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it down the middle, like so. I'm going to cut the end off of it. We're going to use probably just this one portion here. So I'll put this away. Okay, now leeks are very di dirty, very, very dirty. This one looks extremely clean, but I have a bucket of water here in the sink. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these apart and we're going to get them in that water, nice cold water, and we're going to rinse out so we don't have any sandy dirt in our food. Okay? See, there's a lot of dirt there. Mix all of that out. Okay, then I'm going to run it under cold water again. Okay, and these are going to be ready to be julienne. Okay, I'm going to take them out of the water. I'm going to pat them off with a paper towel, then we'll come back to cut them. Okay, so now I'm going to take my leeks. Right? I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to put the pieces together like so. And I'm going to lay them down flat. I want this long piece. And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut these like so. See? Okay. And I'm going to continue to do so. Let me show you one more. Okay. I'm going to take my leeks, cut them in half, put them back together, lay them face down, like so, putting pressure on them with my fingers, and then coming across with a julienne strike of my knife. Okay, I'm not going to do all of these on the camera. I'm just going to show you this, and when I'm back, I'll have all of these done. Okay? Okay, I'll be, we'll be right back when these so, are done. So, okay, I got all the leeks done. Right there, right here. And they're all nice and dry. And they're all julienne. And I'm not going to use all of them, but I got a lot of them there. Just in case. Okay? 
So I got the leaks done. Now I'm going to take my mandolin. What? I'm going to put that up there like so. I'm going to set it for a nice julienne cut. And we're going to see how that's going to look. Got to make it a little bit thicker. Let's see. There you go. Look at that. That's a nice julienne. Okay, and I'm going to push it till I get about halfway, and then I'm going to come on sideways, and I'm going to come down onto this. Be careful that I'm not going to take part of my hand off with it. Let me just cut the little nub off of the back end there. And we're going to do these out until I finish all of these carrots here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the idea here. Okay, I think I need to peel one more carrot and do one more carrot. So when I'm done with that, we'll be back and we'll do the bread boxes. Okay. I'm back eating one of those Julianne carrots. <coughs> so now that I have the carrot and the leek and my scallops, I'm gonna put them in the fridge for now. Alright, I'm back now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the toasted bread box. So, I went to Publix, and I got a white bread, unsliced, okay, I got two of them actually, because the bread box that I want to make is going to be a little bit larger, I can make small ones with this, but let's, let's get busy and I'll show you how to do this. Now remember, you're going to need to learn how to make the compound butters, okay, and I'm going to have the compound butter video in this video. There's going to be two videos in one. Okay? So we're going to take this loaf out of the plastic. Okay. Now, I want to make a bread box out of this. So let's see. Can I get four out of this? Let me try. Okay, so I'm going to cut the very end off like so. Yeah, let's get down there so you can see that. I'm going to cut the end off of there. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to cut the end off of this one. Like so. Okay. Then I'm going to, if I cut it in the middle, okay. Being that there's going to be an appetizer portion, this will work. So I'm going to cut this bread in half. and then in half. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece here. I'm gonna cut it in half. Now, I'm gonna take these pieces like so, and I'm gonna cut the crusts off of them. So I have just the bread. Like so, okay? I'm gonna do that to all of them. I'm gonna cut the crust. Off without ruining the integ integrity of the square box. Okay? Okay, now let me get a paring knife. I forgot the paring knife. Okay, this isn't the knife I wanted to use, but it's workable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the bread and I'm going to cut a square like so. And I'm going to gently Take out some of the bread. I don't want to get to the bottom. I want some of that bottom there. So there. That's going to be one bread box. Okay. Then let me do it again. Let me show you. I'm going to come in. And we're going to cut. 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 A square. Okay. 
Then I'm going to go near my fingers. I'm going to pull it out so gently. Like so. Okay. We're going to do that here. Also, make our hole. Right? So now that I have these four bread boxes here, let me get a tray. So I have my tray here, right? And I'm just going to make sure that it's dry. I'm going to run a little bit of paper towel over it there. Get to make sure. Nice and dry, clean. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil and a brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the brush and we're going to brush this bread box with olive oil. Okay. Brushing that up. Got all four sides. Now we're going to do a little bit inside and the top. See this? Inside and the top. Okay. Way up. That's one. Inside. Okay. Now I've got a preheated 350 oven. And I'm going to put these in the preheated 350. We're going to put them in there for about eight minutes to start and see how they come out. I want them to be golden brown but not burnt. Okay. So, let me arrange them here, like so, and we're going to put them in the oven. Come on over. We're going to put them in the oven. Okay, I'm going to set my timer for eight minutes. And at the end of eight, we'll be back to check it out and see how they look. We may have to give it a few more minutes. And there goes my timer. And as you could see, I'm setting up a little dinner party tonight that we're having. Trying to get all my work done so it's easy breezy for me. Lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, that's it. So my bread boxes are going off here. I have homemade croutons for the Caesar salad. I made, check this out. I made my gratin dauphin wa potato. My gratin dauphin wa potato. Okay, we're having salmon with the Dijon horseradish crust. And let me pull these bread boxes out of the oven. Let me end that timer. And pretty golden brown. Nice and crisp on the outside, tender on the inside. So what I'm gonna do with this now, I'm going to set them on a paper towel in this pan right here. Okay, right there. And I'm going to stick them back in the oven when I start making the sauce with my garlic, parsley, compound butter, and heavy cream. And okay, now uh, I'm waiting for my company to come over. Okay, now this is what I've been telling you about all the time. I'm set up, I'm relaxed. I got that's probably not coming in here right now. I got everything, everything all prepped. I got everything wait, wait, wait. ready to go. And it's gonna be very easy for me to put this out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dad Can Cook, okay? And we're gonna start to cook those scallops right now, okay, for that in that toasted bread box. This is my bud. Roger, he lives around the block and they're over here for dinner. They're going to share our meal with us tonight. So let's get busy and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, okay? You know we made the bread boxes right here, okay? I got my oven at 200 and I'm going to put them in on the top shelf just to keep them warm, all right? I'm turning my heat on on both of my front burners here, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit... This pan here, with a little olive oil, about a tablespoon's worth, right? 
and we're, when that gets hot, we're going to toss the scallops in that. This one right here, we're going to use a little bit of vegetable oil. And we're going to do the uh, carrot and julienne of leeks. Okay? So we got this going. When this gets hot, we're going to really get busy. But over here in this pan, this pan is going to do our sauce. We're going to do that uh, cream sauce with the garlic parsley compound butter that we made in that last episode. Okay, so we're going to use this here. So we're going to get busy right now. Hey, Let's I go. I sense that this okay. is getting hot. I see the smoke. I see smoke starting to come up. We're going to do this right now. Okay. These scallops are going in. Remember, we put them in the strainer and we drain them out so they're dry. No water is going to hit this oil. Okay, these are going to start to cook up here. And we're just going to let them get just about done. Okay? My assistant here, Roger, he's helping me out here. He's hooking me up with the... Uh, see? My dogs, right? Oh, like always. The leeks and the carrots. Okay? They're going in. Now, it looks like it's full. But when they start to sweat, they're going to come down. They're going to come down in the pan. Okay? Thanks, buddy. Now, all we got to do is let this cook. Okay? Got my tongs here. We're going to just put a little bit of sea salt in those. And a little bit on the leeks and carrots, just to bring out the flavor. And then here, white pepper, right? We use white pepper so you can't see it. So we're gonna go, a little bit of white pepper, and a little bit of white pepper on that. Okay. Okay, I feel like I need to get a little bit of touch more oil in this here. I want to make it not oily, but I need a little bit more oil. So we're going to hit that up with about another tablespoon's worth of oil. And we don't want to cook these till they're well done. We want to make them al dente, right? So we're going to give them a couple more tosses and then I'm going to pull them off to the side and they're going to continue to cook. Okay, back to the scallops here. Now the scallops are sweating and they're starting to generate their own juice. So it's going to kind of be like they're going to be poaching themselves in their own juice. So these are going to be done in about two minutes. These are coming off the fire right now. And then when I come back, I'm going to start to do the sauce, all right? Okay, now, these scallops, see the way they're going? They're done. I'm pulling them off to the side, along with the vegetable, right? They're sitting here waiting. They're just waiting for us now. Now I'm putting this big pan over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with the heavy cream in a nice hot pan. Okay, now we gotta let that really reduce down before we put the butter in it, the compound butter. So, it's just gonna be a minute. 
and then when this starts to come back to a boil, I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, the cream is really coming up, big time. Okay, we don't want it to boil over. How many times have we boiled over cream on, the, on this stove? Many times, Roger. Okay, now we want to keep it going. I'm taking it semi off the heat, and we want to reduce it down. Okay? Now I don't want to put anything in this cream but that butter. We want just to have that garlic, parsley, and cream flavor going on. What's the matter? Oh, oh, I thought you were looking over there. I thought something was on fire. <laughs> but, it's cool, it's not going anywhere. But again, this is like I always show you, when I make a meal, I always set things up. This is going to be the hardest part of this party, putting this dish together. Uh, all the other stuff we set up that I showed you, it's all easy. I'm going to pop the salmon in the oven. I already sauteed it, floured it. Now I'm going to pop it in the oven, and in 12 minutes, it'll be done when we're ready to eat that. And, and the shrimp cocktail's made already, the sauce is made already, the salad was cut. So this is how we do it, right? This is what I'm teaching you guys. So we're working this cream, and let me show you. I got these two chunks of butter. Each chunk is for two uh, dishes. So I'm gonna put both of these chunks in here to do four dishes with this cream when we're ready to put it in. Okay, and we're gonna take that off the fire, and remember, that's called Monte au beurre, mounted with butter. We're going to make a butter-mounted sauce with heavy cream. Okay, it's a classical French technique. All right? So let's go back here and watch this. Now we're going to bring this up to another rolling boil. And we're going to let it go like this for about another minute. And then we're going to mount it with the butter and make the sauce. Now, you gotta make sure that you pull it off the fire when you whisk this sauce in, because if you leave it on the fire, the butter will get too hot and it'll break and it will just become like oil in the sauce. So you have to whisk it in vigorously to make it not break, okay? Because if you do it too slow, it'll break. So when you get it, you gotta pull it off the fire and we're gonna whisk it in and we're gonna make it nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have that going here like so. Semi on the flame here. So it's, it's we're still reducing. I'm gonna take a hit of my drink. I'm gonna pull these out of the oven. Look how beautiful they are, right? Nice and toasted. And they're toasted on the outside, but they're still got some softness on the inside. All right, so we're going to put them on the plates over here. Okay. And now we're going to start to make the sauce. Okay, we're getting this going. It's going real good. You put that over there. Yeah. All right, look at this. Let's get close now. We're going to make this sauce. And it's going to be very light and very flavorful. It's not going to be a thick sauce. It's going to be like a the consistency of the cream here, but flavorful. But what we're doing right now is we're, we're reducing all of the water out of this okay so here we go I'm gonna turn the flame off I'm gonna pull it off the heat here okay and I'm gonna add these pieces of butter 
one at a time. Okay, we gotta keep moving it around. We gotta keep moving it around. You just, I don't need it yet. Look at that, see that? Now when we do this, we gotta work fast because the longer you let this sit, the more chance you could have that it breaks on you. We don't want it to break. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with the second piece of butter in here. Okay. Okay, and this was kind of almost like a really fast Blanc sauce, if you were making a Blanc sauce. Now I see that it's, it's really getting sauce-like. I see it, you know, I don't know if you could see it there. Let me zoom that in a little bit for you. But you see that? And then I'm going to give it a little taste. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome, you know. It is so, so awesome. Now we're gonna have to act fast when we put this together. And I'm gonna show you. We gotta get this all done. Okay, now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring the scallops over to this and I'm gonna dump the scallops in this. But I have to take them out of their liquid. Okay, so we're coming out of the liquid and I'm putting them in here. I want to do this quickly. Let me mix this around. I don't want this to break. Because I don't want to have to repair this on camera. Okay. Alright, now look at this. Look at this. I have all of the scallops and all of this beautiful sauce. Right? I'm gonna come over to the cutting board and we're gonna play, we're gonna put it together. Okay. Yeah. Okay, come over here, check this out. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna make one for you and then I'm gonna set the rest of them up for my dinner party, okay? Okay, see that? Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna come into we're gonna come into this bread box. And we're gonna fill it with scallops. And then we're gonna put some more scallops around it. And then we're gonna take our tongs. And we're gonna put a little bouquet of the, of the stuff on it. And then we're gonna come on top of that with sauce. Okay, now I'm doing this quick, and I got company in my kitchen here with me, so I'm under a little bit of pressure. So, but look at that. Is that beautiful? Huh? Thanks for tuning in. Some call me Nicky and some call me Roman Skeezer, please, I'm in a visa Just a reason I